Hi everybody, so this video is for Tina Mosier. I'm taking, well, stealing and accrediting this idea from a friend of mine, Tina, who walks with me. She says, what's in your bag? So I'm going to turn the camera around and depending on which bag we're talking about, because I have many, I'm gonna show you. So my first bag is this Nathan, it's a belt bag. It has a small pocket, but this pocket is big enough for my cell phone. I have a Samsung Note 4, which is a pretty big phone. So in this bag goes my Polar water bottle, right there. And then, you know, you don't have to really be glamorous when it comes to snacks and things. I actually carry with me Southwest peanuts. I just ask the flight attendant for a couple extra packs, or I just don't eat the ones she gives me. I save these, they're great. They're very durable, actually. And if they get crushed, they still make a good snack. So those are just like a backup for, because whenever I use this particular bag, I'm, I don't know, I'm walking locally, I'm under five miles, I'm nearby, um, and because you can always tell because the water bottle will give you away about how far your walk is. So then my next, although not necessarily my next bag in size, but this is probably the next bag that people ask me about. So this is a Camelback uh, Helena 20. It actually has um, a camel back in it. So there's the hose. That's my water is taken care of. Um, my poles are attached here. I don't even know what kind of poles I use. Uh, Comperdell poles. And you can see right down here, there's just a little hole or a little loop that the poles fit in. I use the, the stopper at the bottom of the pole to keep them in there. So this part is removable. And then they latch right up here. So this bag isn't probably officially a pull bag, but I love this bag because it is the perfect size for like five to 10 miles, maybe 12 miles that you don't need to carry anything more than probably food, like snacks, um, a water bottle, or I'm sorry, you've already got your bladder and then maybe a jacket or two. So I usually bring with me a protein type bar. This is a Cliff Kid protein chocolate chip. I, I like these, I carry these around a lot because they're high in protein, which is often what you need when you're hiking, and um, everybody likes them, and if I have any kids, they're, they're happy. So also in here is one of those disposable rain jackets. I got this for a dollar from the dollar store, and I've used it many times. I still use it. I just keep it in my bag. Um, usually I have a nice outer jacket with me. I carry that more. I mean, if it rains, great, but sometimes you just need water protection for other reasons, or you need to keep something dry or whatever, so I bring that with me. So it's just really lightweight to carry and only costs a dollar. The last bag I'm gonna show you is my Cotopaxi. Um, this is a bag, this is the, Lu, the Luzon uh, 18. This is a bag I carry when I'm leading trips locally, and in it is a thousand things. So I have just a pair of sunglasses I picked up from somewhere free in case someone forgets their sunglasses. I have a knee brace in case someone needs some knee brace while we're walking. I have a small first aid kit, pair of gloves, band-aids, and so on. I have a sunscreen. I love Bullfrog. Most people don't have any allergic reaction to it and it's waterproof and sweatproof. Um, I have an extra pair of shoelaces. I got these from America Walks. They're, again, they were free. Um, shoelaces are really durable for a lot of things and first aid. So if you're not using them for a shoelace, you can use them to tie things, loop things, connect things, and so on. I always carry moleskin with me for blisters. I usually don't get blisters, but people with me do. I always have some cash. I have some business cards. I actually have an emery board. Um, I've never had to use this, but for some reason I think it's going to come in handy one day. I carry a pen. And I just dropped it, but a pen is also useful for if you need to break it apart and use it as a straw or something, um, it's versatile. So this is a ballpoint pen with multiple parts and I can use the different parts for different survival things that might happen. Call me MacGyver. And then always, always popular with my people who walk with me are Trader Joe treats. I call this crack. This is almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cranberries, and cherries. It hits everybody's flavor. It's, I guess you call it gorp or trail mix. I call it crack. The other piece of crack is Trader Joe's soft and juicy mandarins. People love these and they're a great thir thirst quencher. So, and the last thing, I always carry a chapstick with me. I got this for free somewhere. So in my bag, a ton of free things that I have picked up from various vendors, outdoor festivals or whatever. I just throw them in my bag. They always come in handy. Oh, and I forgot, I always carry some Aleve with me. 
Actually, in here is probably some ibuprofen, Tylenol, and Aleve. I am not recommending that you carry everything all in one bottle. I do. I don't distribute drugs. I just keep those for myself. So as a first aider, you don't want to distribute drugs. Um, anyway, that's what's in my bag. So Tina, aren't you glad you asked? And oh, by the way, this Cotopaxi also has a bladder, so I don't have to worry about carrying a water bottle. So anyway, that's what's in my bag. Thanks, everybody. Bye.